Hey everyone, so here is a question from exercise 11.1, sixth question, this is from perimeter and area chapter. So the question is, a wire is in the shape of a rectangle, its length is 40 cm, breadth is 22 cm. If the same wire is rebent in the shape of a square, what will be the measure of each side? Also find which shape encloses more area. So we have to find out two things here. One is what is the side of the square and second we have to find out which encloses. Encloses means which has a more area, rectangle has more area or square. So what first we have to find out is side of the square. So to do that we are going to use this relation. What is a relation? They have given that the same wire, that is a wire which is used to make a rectangle, is rebent and made into a shape of square. Means, suppose I have a rectangle like this, okay, this is made up of wire. So, same wire, I am just uh, making a square shape out of it, okay. I am not taking out any piece of wire, I am not adding extra piece of wire. The same wire I am using to make a square. This means the wire length is same. So wire length is nothing but this boundary, right? This is a perimeter. So perimeter of rectangle and the perimeter of square will be equal here. Because the same wire is used, the circumference or the perimeter of both the shapes will be same. So we're going to use this relation to find out the answer. That is a side of the square. So let's uh, find the solution. So they have given the length and breadth of the rectangle. So length is equal to 40 centimeter. And we know the breadth which is equal to 22 centimeter. Like I mentioned before, we're going to use a relation that is perimeter. So perimeter of square is equal to perimeter of rectangle. So we're going to write down the formula here. So perimeter of square is 4 into side. So 4 into side. We have to find out side here. This is equal to perimeter of rectangle which is 2 into length plus breadth. Now we're going to substitute what we know. So this is 4 into side or you can simply write S or any other variable. So 4 into side is equal to 2 into length is 40 and breadth is 20. So this is again 4 into side is equal to 2 into 40 plus 22 is 62. Now we want only the side. We don't want this 4 over here on the left hand side. I'm going to transpose this to the other side. So 4 which is in multiplication transposed to the other side it comes in division. So from here we can say side is equal to 2 into 62 upon 4. We can cancel the numbers. This is 2 ones are the 2 twos are 4. Again we can cancel 62 and 2. 2 ones are 2. So 2 threes are 6 and then 2 ones are 2. So therefore we got side is equal to 31 centimeter. Okay. So first question is solved. So let me write down here. Side is equal to 31 centimeter. Now second they are asking here is which encloses more area. Encloses means which covers more area, rectangle or square. Now since we know all the measurements, we know length and breadth to find the area of rectangle, we know side to find the area of square, we are going to find out separately and, and then we are going to compare it. So let me erase this part. So first I am going to find the area of rectangle. So area of rectangle is equal to the formula is length into breadth length is 40 so 40 centimeter multiplied by breadth is 22 so 22 centimeter so this is equal to 880 centimeter square right so we got the area of rectangle we're going to do the same thing for square so area of square is side square or side into side so side square side we got is 31 so 31 centimeter whole square so 31 square is 961 so we'll get 961 centimeter square so that's it this is uh, 
we have calculated the area of both now you can compare you can see that area of square is more as compared to area of rectangle because 961 is greater than 880 so a, a, uh, the square encloses more area as compared to rectangle so we have solved both the question i hope it's clear in case you have any questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching